okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn about the bus lector module within the MATLAB or Simulink for it first of all you need to open the Simulink and then you can click on the new model so this is our new model and we will draw our circuit here now go and write here battery now we, we will see our battery block and we will add it to our block model and title here you can see that we have now battery so in order to charge this battery or discharge we can use some configuration or attach some circuit elements so here we will write dc voltage source so here we will get our dc voltage source we already added it so here now you can see that in order to charge this battery we need one thing positive wire must be connected to the positive end and negative end of the battery or DC source must be connected to the negative end okay now what this M means this outward via this M all the signals that are all the quantities that are related with the battery can be on this output port like it is state of charge soc or voltage or current so what we need to do is to double click on the battery uh, nominal voltages are 1.2 okay now dc voltage source it is uh, 100 so we need to reduce it to 1.5 because it is enough to charge the battery now we will our now we will select our main thing that is bus selector we can select any of the bus selector here now it is here we will right click on it and we will flip block okay now clip okay now what will happen then all the quantities and their data must be flow to the bus selector and via this bus selector we will select any of the thing we want like any signal we want to um, like move or select or anything like that and the signal which we don't want we can even discard them so so we will right click on it here we will get soc current and voltage so we will remove voltage or, or just do one thing that uh, remove these signal one signal two click on soc and click on select and soc is selected so click ok now go to the again to the library browser and write your scope right click on scope okay now we can only see the so okay wait we also need the power gy block so go to the library browser 
air right power gui block and edit out and place it in any corner and we will run it now double click on the scope this thing okay now we can see that it is the soc it is like the charging yeah so so we will get the soc like that we can also take some voltage or current or like this the quantity is like voltage and current so we will go we will say current okay so it is like that so we will copy the scope and we will like this so we will double click on it see the current and here you can see that the current is uh, increasing in the start and then going towards the steady state as you can see it initials uh, for soc you can write like 30 and then we will also see the soc graph it will it will change some bit like now you can see that it is going from 0 to 33 so yes so again we will go to the battery and we will write like 50 we will press ok and it will be the graph will be just like this that it is going to increase up to the what's called as the 50 or 52 or like that so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the bus selector for to simulate our model within the simulation so thanks for watching this video tutorial